Howdy folks, Hossman here. Just give you a little update. Um, so in case you don't know, my house got broken into and ransacked. You can notice everything behind me is a little bare. Uh, we're at a different angle too, I suppose, but this is the usual thing. You know, I've got Dick Tracy statue right here. I have, you know, Mario, Zelda, and Link posters here. I have original comic book art right here from Exiles and Maverick and X-Men. And those are gone forever and that's fine. My computer is gone, and that's what really sucks. Because I had stuff I was working on, I had unfinished projects. There are now lost episodes of Comic Drive. Not that anybody watched Comic Drive, but that's that's fine too. I had finished the most recent episode of Deceased. Nearly finished it, that is to say. Uh, if I'd finished it, it would be out. So I didn't quite finish that. I'm gonna redo it here uh, on my phone. I'm not I'm not letting this slow me down. Well, actually, no, I am. I'm letting it slow me down. I'm not letting it stop me. Uh, I've discovered a way to do stuff on my phone until I can get a computer. Because I took my computer, a custom-built computer that had stuff. It wasn't fancy or anything, um, but it was mine. And it had all my stuff on it. And there was a lot of stuff I had filmed. Like, last December, I was in Jasper and I up in the Rocky Mountains. And I just kind of went with the Rocky Mountains behind me and filmed a few things about the first appearance of Sabretooth, uh, Iron Fist 14. And I uh, never got around to making that video yet, but I had these vignettes of me in the mountains because uh, that takes place in the mountains as well. Uh, speaking of Sabretooth, still have Wolverine 10. Still have Secret Wars number 8. Those are really the only two comics I have that are worth anything. They didn't take those. They did take a lot of other comics. I have up around here on my windowsill here, here, and here, and on my shelf over here, I have piles of comics of things I wanted to do and get to and just hadn't yet. Uh, I had all these, I don't know if you remember these gold foil Age of Apocalypse. This one is Gambit and the Externals. Uh, this is now the only one I have left. I bought these when I was in high school in the 90s after Age of Apocalypse. I went and I collected pretty much the entire thing in these cool gold foil covers and I like that. I have the new collected editions and that's fine. I have the app. You know, I might track these back down actually because I really liked these. They're gone. I planned on doing an Age of Apocalypse for a long time. Uh, you know, Maximum Carnage, that one still here. It was in a box, ready to go. Another one that really bothers me, I don't know if you guys remember, it was a really weird thing, it was Our Worlds at War. Justice League, it, kind of this whole thing ran across the DC Comics. I had a stack of them up here, these are the three I have left. Uh, I still plan on doing all these things, they're just gone. Sojourn, I had the entire run of Sojourn up there. It's gone, individual issues. Um, I guess the one that really hurts too was Web of Spider-Man 100, the first appearance of the spider armor. That was something my brother bought for me on like my 10th or 11th birthday. It was just probably the oldest comic I own that I still have. I have older ones, I guess, but like the personal one that I've had with my myself that's long. And that's gone. Uh, my Xbox, my PlayStation 4. I, a buddy of mine bought a PlayStation 5, and I was just talking about how I wanted to play Spider-Man. That's the only game I wanted to play. He bought me, he didn't buy me, he gave me his old PS4. Thank you, Jeff. I never got a chance to use it. Uh, and I bought Spider-Man. <laughs> and those have both been stolen. Uh, my Xbox 360 was stolen. Uh, tablet, cell phone, uh, my Nintendo Switch. They didn't take my little retro console. That's neat. Like I said, I still have my, my PS3 is still sitting here. And the Xbox 360. My other one is still sitting here. Uh, I got a PS2 Slim in a box over here that I've never touched yet. So, I mean... Mainly my computer and my car keys. They took my spare set of car keys. Uh, so with the house being the way it is, I've re-secured the door. I stuffed a sandal in it because where they pried it in was letting a lot of the cold in because I'm in Canada and it's cold. But the action figures were taken. Anyway, I've secured everything and like I said, my, oh, my car keys. My car keys were stolen. So I don't want to stay in the house right here. My TVs were taken. Anyway, I don't want to stay in the house because I have a decent idea who did it. But there is the such thing as the law and blah, 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 blah. I have insurance. It's all fine. But I just don't want someone to come here with a spare set of car keys and come take my car while I'm sleeping at night. Uh, so I'm in the process of getting that rekeyed and reprogrammed so their keys won't work for it. The law. I'm uh, trying not to be angry. But I am. I'm angry that this happened. Um, you know, it was targeted. I do believe nobody specifically targeted me. But like I said, if somebody lives in this area and they see that my car is gone sometimes because I do spend the night at my girlfriend's house every once in a while, if you know what I mean. So, while that was happening, this all happened at my house. 
And I think it was just kind of thing. They walked down the back alley and be like, oh, this guy's car's not home at 10 o'clock. If he's not home at 10 o'clock, he's not home at 2 o'clock. Kind of deal. That's, once again, maybe I'm projecting. The other thing, this one actually really does piss me off. You can see, if you look behind me in my other videos, you see I have various things. There's X-Men Age of Apocalypse and a T-Rex. The T-Rex is on the floor. There's like a Dick Tracy statue that I bought 15 years ago. Electric Tiki 12-inch Dick Tracy for like $200, $250. It's going for like $1,200 or $1,300 now. And it's just like, that is something... I would like, but I'm not going to replace probably. Anyway, sorry, that was all taken, but you see Boba Fett is still right there. And throughout the house, there are Star Wars collectibles. I have just, I have Stormtrooper helmets, I have action figures, I have, I have some really cool paintings. Like, none of it's exorbitantly valuable or anything, but they just, from what I can tell, they didn't take a single Star Wars thing. They took a lot of DC action figures, took some Marvel action figures, didn't touch a Star Wars action figure that I can tell. And that also just, that bugs me. That bugs me so much. Uh, but what also bugs me is that, like, the police aren't going to be able to do anything. Because that's just the world we live in, where the police are just a formality, you know, for the insurance company. Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about comic books and stuff. I still have a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to keep putting out some shorts and some... Longer form content on my phone. I have put my editing software onto my mom's computer, but it's a little bit potato-ish. So I'm just not sure how that's gonna work out yet. Otherwise I can do it on my phone. It's also not as good. I'll probably be getting a new computer sooner than later. I think I might just get a laptop. Maybe I'll go at Boxing Day or something. Uh, that's like a Black Friday thing, if you're not familiar. I don't think we have Boxing Day in the States. We have it in Canada. Day after Christmas, stuff goes on sale. Uh, anyway, yeah, the big thing is Web Spider-Man. 100 and like I will replace it, but I know it won't be the same one. Oh, I also have these really cool uh, collectible Muppet posable things. Something else I just bought in my foolish youth years ago. They honestly sat up in a closet untouched, but they're gone and I had them and they were cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, the whole point of this is just that I'm I'm not going anywhere. This sucks, but it's Christmas time, <laughs> you know. Don't let it get me down. It did, actually. It got me down. This was, a, this was a week ago. I was down, and I was very angry. I was to hear with rage. Now, I go to work, and I work a job where sometimes things make me upset, and I'm usually to hear with rage from just work alone. When I was already here with rage, I got here with rage a couple times. So, <laughs> once again, that's unrelated. Like, I have a, some vintage Star Wars figures. They just didn't touch them. Um, what else? I had a couple big boxes of just trade paperbacks that I bought randomly from some guy on Facebook Marketplace and intentionally did not look at them. And I was going to do an unboxing video where I just talked about them. I still have one of those boxes, but the second box has been stolen. Uh, one entire long box of comics has been stolen. I have six or seven, so I don't know which one it was that was taken. I haven't looked through yet. Down here, I just had a box of miniseries that were all taken. Once again, nothing special. This was all just comics from 2000 to 2010 when I was really buying comics hardcore. So it was like X-Men Colossus Bloodlines, X-Men Fantastic Four. Um, All My Marvel Zombies was another one I had up there. I had Marvel Zombies, Marvel Zombies Dead Days, Marvel Zombies versus Army of Darkness. I had like all the Marvel Zombies too. All the Marvel Zombies series, they're gone. But also then there's a stack, I don't know where it is, right here, of like the Marvel Mangaverse, you know? And that's, you know, that whole stack is still here. So these videos are all still going to happen at some point. Like I said, it's just a really bad thing that happened. It's unfortunate, but it slowed me down. But then work was really busy, and I was slowing down a bit anyway. But I, I sit and I think about it, and you know, I'm still gonna be making videos. I, I have a second channel, Hossman Gaming. I don't actually do anything with that, and I won't be for a while. Now I had plans for that. But I was thinking, do I need, do I, like, cause I, the algorithm wants everything to be its own separate thing, so I was like, but sometimes I want to talk about movies or TV shows, so do I start a Hossman's Films channel, as well as Hossman Gaming, as well as Hossman Comics, and I was like, I just want to talk about how stupid Gatorade flavors are, like, shouldn't Iceberg Gatorade just be water flavored? Is Anyway, but then do I get a channel just called Hossman Does Things? <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, expect videos from my phone for the next little while. Um... I'm not looking for any handouts or anything like that. That's not what this video is. This is just a, hey, this is what's happening with me right now. 
I am uh, <laughs> living in my mom's basement making videos from a cell phone. And you know what? I wasn't home. My kid wasn't home. No one was hurt. My cat is fine. That's really all that matters. You know, it's all just stuff. It's all just things. That's just what's going on with me. And I'm going to... We're gonna see how well my mom's laptop can edit this video down. Anyway, everyone just have a happy holiday season. You know, and then <laughs> document your stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna be having a hard time with the insurance about some of the stuff because I had a bunch of pictures of it documenting everything, but that's all on my computer. And you know, same with all my work that I've lost. Like somebody asked me like, oh, did you have it backed up? And I was like, no, because ironically, I don't trust the cloud, but turns out I should have had some things on the cloud. <laughs> huh. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a better day and a better week than I am, and uh, I wish everyone well. It's also very close to 60,000 subscribers, so that's actually awesome. And I thank you all for that. Haha! <laughs>